Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today we're going to make an awesome back to school accessory from a Highway Hauler 2 casting. But before we get started, I wanted to say something. On September 4th, 2016, Sultan Tuner released a DIY video of this exact project. This is not a copy of that video. As it turns out, we are just two very creative people who happen to have the same exact idea. His video just came out before mine. My design differs slightly from his, but the idea is the same. We have actually become good friends since then. With that being said, let's get started. For this project, you're going to need a highway hauler, two casting, 564th, 1164th, and 516th drill bits, a drill, a Dremel with a cutoff wheel, eye protection, a marker, a tiny screw. Uh, this is one I had laying around. It measures a half inch long and the threads are an eighth of an inch thick. A magnet that you can probably pull from one in your fridge or get from the craft store. Some super glue. A cheapo sharpener that you can probably find in any office section anywhere. And a pencil to sharpen. Start by drilling into the black plastic rivet three quarters of an inch down with the 564th bit. Then drill the back and front rivet with the 1164th bit. Now that it's apart, you're going to need to mark and cut all of this extra material that we no longer need. And this is how we want it to look when it's all done. Now we're going to super glue the gray plastic piece to the black base. And glue the magnet in place. Be sure to leave at least an eighth of an inch in the rear so you won't block the box from fitting. This next part is pretty important, yet I somehow failed to record it, so I'll use these screenshots to help explain. Your black box is going to have a post that went from the top to the bottom. You drill that out at the beginning. Now you're going to cut that post down about half an inch from the bottom. Then you can install the screw through the hole you drilled in the first step. And this is what's going to keep your sharpener closed. Now it's time to drill a hole in the back of the box so we can sharpen the pencil. This was done by eye, so just line it up on the top right or left corner, whichever you prefer. And then you want to drill your hole right in the center of the sharpener. Mark your location and then take your 516th bit and drill slowly. It'll look like this when it's done. That turned out real nice. Sorry for the bad camera angle, but now we're going to super glue the sharpener to the inside of the box and make sure the blade of the sharpener is facing the inside of the box. Now you can make some final adjustments to the screw so you can get a nice flush appearance. You're also going to want to put some super glue on that front shaft to hold the body in place. And that's it! You can take your broken pencil and make them look like new again in the raddest way possible. Plus, thanks to the magnet, you can easily open it up, empty the container, and put it right back together again. And there we have it. This project takes only about an hour to complete thanks to the super glue needing hardly any dry time. For the previous upload, click the video on the left. And to see Nick's pick of the week, click the video on the right. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.